Note that in addition to emulating the front panel, the test harness also displays a protocol analyzer showing communications between the SCADA data gateway and each emulator. We can use the filters in the protocol analyzer to control how much data is displayed. For example, we can see all layers, physical, link, transport, application, and user. We can also just show the user data and only see data values that change. We can even use the sessions filter to display data from specific devices. This video demonstrates how the protocol analyzer filters change the output of the protocol analyzer display. If you notice now, we have all of the devices configured to be displayed, and we're only showing down through the application layer. We can turn on additional layers, and the display becomes even more crowded as more data is shown in here. Typically, what I'll do is start out at the application layer um, and usually start out just monitoring a particular device. So let's just enable the Schweitzer simulator here. Now everything we see is for the Schweitzer simulator and only the application and user layer. Now a nice feature of the test harness once we pause the display and we can scroll up and down and find a particular message that we want to look at. Now we can after the fact turn on these filters and that data is still saved and still in here. So this is very very useful for troubleshooting. You can start at a very high level find an area of interest, pause the analyzer, and then drill down and see the additional details. Another very nice feature is we can say file, save protocol analyzer log as XML. This window prompts comes up and prompts us to save the, the name. I'm just going to overwrite my old log file there. And that has saved this file, this analyzer file out as an XML file. Now later I can come back and I can say file, open protocol analyzer log, and open that file. That opens a new display window. And here's that log file that we had just saved out. And I can come in after the fact, after this uh, has been saved, and change the filter settings as well. Um, so this is very, very useful for, for troubleshooting applications, you can save off a log file and then go back to your desk and study it in, in more detail. Finally, on the far left, we have another test harness emulating a DNP3 master station. The test harness ships with the GUI for configuration, issuing commands, and displaying data. The ease of use makes the test harness ideal for easily testing your slave devices. This master DNP3 station is connected to an outstation DNP3 component on the SCADA data gateway. All of the points in the triangle and each of the outstation emulations are mapped to this component and are reported to the master. We can view the master's database and see all of the points in each of the remote slaves. This slide demonstrates how to send commands from the test harness master simulator. Note that the commands are actually being sent to the SCADA data gateway, which in turn sends them to the outstation simulator shown here.